Hi, it's April with Hair 101 and I'm going to show you how we created this cute updo on my twin niece. And the other one is somewhere running around the house, but sorry I can't show you them together. They're identical and so that's really fun, but that's what we did. So keep watching if you want to see how we did it. I've gone through already with the volume volumizer. You can see she has a ton of texture and volume in this hair. And I've just kind of gone through all of it quickly and just done the vol volume volumizer through all of her hair, like from the roots all the way to the ends. And I did leave out a little section on the top that's smooth because I want to kind of have that layover. But so it's just super, super big and thick. So this is fun. So I just have some bobby pins. They match her hair really well. And I'm going to take this section back and leave the front of her hair. So just taking this little crown section and we're going to poof it up. Use some hairspray to smooth it up first. This is the spray in place so it's pretty flexible after you spray it. You can still move it around a little bit. Just to kind of smooth some of those flyaways. So it's important to like have a mirror that you can look into to make sure your balance and your shape's good because from your, the back you can't really tell what the front of it looks like and the profile. You just kind of check all of it. And we're going to pin this up just to give her that little fluffy top. It'll be pretty there. And now I'm just going to lock this in with another bobby pin going the other way right over the top of it. If you need to use a few, that's fine. I'm going to use one more. Okay, so there's the top. Now we're going to start a braid over here. So I'm going to take this section right here and split it into two and do a little rope braid here. So I'm twisting both of them away from her face and then I'm going to cross the one that's in back over the top and just kind of keep twisting them away from her face and twist and folding the one that's in back over the top. And you'll know if you're doing it the right way. Ooh, I need braid aid. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of this braid aid by Redken. It's a three, so it's not a super high hold, but it does help when you're doing updos and any braids, obviously, to just help keep any of those little flyaways in. And I'm just kind of rubbing on my hands and then it's getting distributed through the hair as I braid. You can use pomade if you need a little bit more hold right there. This is the Troll Maniac, or for now, Frenzy by Big Sexy. And I'm going to put some pomade in here just to get rid of these little flyaways. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pin this back over here. You can stick a little elastic in it if you want to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and then underneath that twist rope braid, I'm going to do another just regular braid. Split it into three equal sections. And I still have a little bit of the braid aid and the pomade on my hands. And then on this one, we're going to pancake it. So go back through and just kind of pull. Okay, so we're going to pin that one back now. So we have the twist braid up above and the pancake down below. And then we're going to do one more braid, or we're going to do a knot braid. OK, 
Okay, so this one, we're just gonna grab a little bit of hair from underneath, and we're gonna tie it in a knot. That's a little off balance, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take this hair, split it into two, and then tie it in a knot. And then we're going to We are going to make a really pretty flower out of the rest of her hair over on this side. So now we're gonna take the hair from around her face and we're gonna do a regular lace braid, just taking from her face and just following the line that we have from when we pinned back that top section. We get to the back of her ear. And then I'm just gonna braid this all the way down. And put a little elastic in, which I don't know where that is. So I'm gonna put some more braid aid in here and then just braid it all the way down to the very bottom. Or as far down as I can get. Okay, so we're gonna put an elastic in here. I'm not gonna make the elastic super tight because I want to pancake this. I'm gonna pancake the edge all the way up on the lace braid. Just pulling it up just a little bit. There's layers, so it's Going just a lot bit right there. So just on this top side. And we're going to secure this down with pins. So I want this to lay a little bit more to the head, so I'm just gonna take a bobby pin in and open it and push it between the two layers. Just kind of slide it in. And then I'm going to pin this down right here just to get a base right at the bottom where her hair meets. Okay, now we're ready to make our flower. Just by spinning this braid and securing it down. Now we have this pretty little flower made from hair. So here's my little trick for flyaways around the face. I just spray a, a good amount of hairspray onto a color brush that's clean, obviously. And I just brush it and it leaves a really glossy, clean finish. And that's sticking out a little bit too far. You just take a bobby pin and secure it down. So now that we have the little rose done and the three braids coming back, I'm just going to curl the rest of her hair down. And the volume volumizer is still in there, so it'll probably make the curls really big, but that's what we're doing. All right, you guys, this is what we ended up with. Here, let's have you turn. So we have, we just did some fun curls back here.
but there's so much volume like it's so big that's fun it almost reminds me of how the cinderella hair was she just had like huge soft curls and then she has uh, like some fun detail over here a little flower and a bunch of different braids coming back over here so i hope you like my cute twin niece and her hair let me know by giving me a thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you guys have any updos that you want me to try to recreate, please comment or send them to me because I think that'd be really fun to just recreate updos that you send me. Um, let me know and thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you follow me Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Periscope. Okay, bye. You can see this is a much more natural tone of hair color than this grassy orange. So there's the side-by-side -side of the blue toner on an orange piece of hair.